The Peralta Park mural that has been in the works since 2017 is finally finished. It's titled Unity in the Community. CBS 8's Isabella Roberts paid a visit to the mural and spoke with a City Heights resident who has been involved with the mural since its beginning. Seven years is how long it took to complete this mural in Toralta Park. Now, I spoke to a member of the City Heights Community Development Committee about what the mural means to the neighborhood and how it's only the beginning of a mission to bring vibrance to City Heights. What you see in the back, in many different languages, we had it translated, and it's the same thing, unity in the community. What a joy. Toralta Park is now home to a mural that began as a passion project to bring color to City Heights, but not without a few bumps in the road. We held meetings. We um, also had um, our councilwoman at the time. She got us through a lot of things. We went through um, a lot of red tape. Maria Cortez is on the City Heights Community Development Committee and has seen the project through the past seven years in four different artists, but she never doubted the community's ability to make it happen. But here we did. We overcame. Um, it took seven years, but we got it done. Cortez tells me she wants everyone who comes to Toralta to see themselves in the mural. When you look at the mural, you're going to look at the different ethnic groups that we have. And as I said, we don't care who or what you are because you're all welcome here in City Heights. We walked along the painting, which features community members from all walks of life and prominent landmarks from City Heights. And then this says 235 and it has a trolley, but it's depicting the 235 bus that runs in the middle of underneath here in the center line. Even though finishing this mural may have been an uphill battle, that isn't stopping the development committee from continuing their projects. We're, we're working with um, Caltrans and MTS to complete the art that was promised to us decades ago on the bridge decks. The CDC also wants to bring events like art walks and bike rides to the park. And Cortez tells me they aren't going to stop fighting for the community. Organizations come and go, but we're still here. Because you can't tell us no. When you tell us no, you make us stronger. And we get it done. <laughs> In City Heights, Isabella Roberts, CBS 8 News.